Trump administration officials and congressional leaders are no longer considering an import-based tax system to rewrite the tax code. In a statement Thursday, Republican leaders stated, and, now we are, and we are now confident that without transitioning to a new domestic consumption-based tax system, there is a viable approach for ensuring a level playing field between American and foreign company, companies and workers while protecting American jobs and the U.S. tax base. While well, joining us now for more is Democratic Congressman uh, Lloyd Duggett uh, of Texas. Texas. He is the ranking member of the House Ways and Means Tax Policy Subcommittee. Congressman, thank you so much uh, for being with us. Good to join you. What tax policy, what plan can Democrats approve? Well, I hope we can move forward in a bipartisan way to work from the middle out instead of from the top down. Uh, the real question is, have Republicans learned anything from this debacle on uh, health care tax cuts? They kept their proposal under lock and key. They relied on stealth and sure. secrecy, rejecting all Democratic uh, alternatives. If they want to work together on legitimate tax reform, we have a basis for doing so, and I would so, welcome that opportunity. Right. So, Congressman, they come to you and they say, okay, let's talk. What do you tell them? What is the plan that they can come to you with that you support? Well, first I would say we don't have much of a plan for them. You referred to an outline. We got 600 words yesterday that provided less detail than we got from President Trump in April, uh, 13 months after the original blueprint was outlined. The only specific we have is that they're abandoning this sorry barter adjustment tax, which would have been crushing for the Texas economy. I would say that we have three principles. Number one is don't borrow from the Saudis and the Chinese to finance these tax cuts. We don't need more national debt. Number two, let's follow the Mnuchin rule that we will not widen the income inequality in our country, that this isn't just another tax cut like the health care repeal to help those at the very top. And number three, let's consider fairness for all businesses in our country with any business tax reform. It's just not right that Pfizer gets off with paying a fraction of the corporate tax rate that applies right. to the corner pharmacy. So, Congressman, wrap that together for me. So that seems to me that you do want it to be revenue neutral. So what is the corporate tax level that you can support? Give me specifics, 15%, 28%, 30%, that gets you revenue neutral. What is it? Well, I'll give you, I'll give you this specific from a Republican. Secretary Paulson, when he worked for George W. Bush, said you couldn't get, uh, from his study, below 28% without eliminating every single corporate tax deduction, including those that enjoy broad support like charitable deductions. So that shows you how difficult it is to get there unless you rely on alchemy, unless you make up the numbers and engage in magic. So I think there are some ways to lower the rate. I favor lowering the corporate tax rate, but not by borrowing to get there and not by taking advantage of small business and individuals to make up the difference for what some of these multi nationals refuse to pay. So do you like a 28% corporate tax rate? I'd like a, a rate that is balanced and getting below the 28% level will be a real challenge, perhaps not impossible, but the idea that you could drop it uh, on down to 15% uh, is just not realistic. And I think anything uh, getting below 28%, in fact, even getting to 28% is a real challenge. Congressman, we have rates right now yeah. that in terms of the effective rate are competitive with the rest of the world. The statutory rate does need to be lowered. Congressman, what is the incentive right now for the Democrat Party to work with the Republicans ahead of the midterms next year when ultimately if you don't, there's the potential just to look, watch them not achieve very much and ultimately get back Congress? Well, we have a responsibility to try to grow jobs that's bigger than party. Uh, and I favor a tax code that focuses on growing the American economy and American jobs, uh, not uh, exporting jobs and revenue. So I, I think we're ready to work. We haven't had anything other than uh, uh, broad generalities like yesterday and no real opportunity to come together. I serve as the ranking Democrat on the tax subcommittee. In 13 months, we've had exactly two short hearings to look at aspects of this proposal. We need to bring 
all parts of the business community and public policy experts, academia, to the table to explore what are the ramifications to the American economy and individual yeah. businesses of eliminating uh, interest deductions, of uh, suddenly moving to a broad number of pass-throughs, uh, these very specific things that have been proposed but have yeah. not been explored. Congressman, just a final question. Um, some interesting communications coming from the communications director over at the White House, Mr. Anthony Sky Scaramucci. What are your thoughts about communication over at the White House at the moment? Uh, just absolutely amazing. When our country faces so many challenges, government by tweet and by expletive is not the way to build confidence either here in America or around the world. I think this administration endangers our national security every day and we must resist it. All right, Congressman, thank you for joining us. Congressman Lloyd Duggett, appreciate you. your time today. Uh, much more coming up on Bloomberg.